F by successive division method, continued division method. Today, let us learn HCF by successive division method, which is also called as the continued division method. Before that, let us revise HCF by prime factorization method with an example. Find the HCF of 80, 96 and 108. Step 1. Find the prime factorization of each number. So we get 80 is equal to 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 5. 96 is equal to 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 3. Lastly, 108 is equal to 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 3. Step 2. Underline the common factors occurring in all the numbers. Here, the common factors are 2 and 2. Step 3. Find the product of the common factors to get the HCF. Therefore, HCF is equal to 2 into 2 is equal to 4. Now, we can also write the prime factorization using the index form. Let us see how. 80 is equal to 2 raised to the power of 4 into 5. 96 is equal to 2 raised to the power of 5 into 3. 108 is equal to 2 squared into 3 cubed. Now, underline the common base in all the three numbers, which is 2. Finally, we take the base with the minimum power as HCF, which is 2 squared is equal to 4. Now, let us see how to find HCF by the successive division method, also known as the continued division method. Find the HCF of 34 and 85. Step 1. Divide the bigger number by the smaller number. So, here we divide 85 by 34. 34 into 2 is equal to 68. Now, here, subtract 68 from 85 to get the remainder 17. Step 2. The remainder becomes the divisor and the previous divisor becomes the dividend. Thus, here, 17 becomes the divisor and the previous divisor, that is 34, becomes the dividend. Step 3. Continue this process till you get 0 as the remainder. Here, 17 into 2 is equal to 34. 34 minus 34. We get 0 as the remainder. Step 4. The last divisor is the HCF. Here, the last divisor is 17. Therefore, HCF is 17. Hence, the HCF 
of 34 and 85 is 17. Let us solve another example by successive division method. Find the HCF of 125, 175 and 225. Step 1. Arrange the numbers in increasing order. Here, the numbers are already arranged in the increasing order. Step 2. Carry out successive division for the first two numbers and find their HCF. Here, the first two numbers are 125 and 175. So, we perform the division between them. We know 125 into 1 is equal to 125. 175 minus 125 gives the remainder 50. Now, here 50 becomes the divisor and 125 becomes the dividend. We know 50 into 2 is equal to 100. 125 minus 100 gives 25. Now 25 becomes the divisor and 50 becomes the dividend. 25 into 2 is equal to 50. 50 minus 50 is equal to 0. Here we got the remainder as 0. The divisor we get at the end is the HCF, which is 25 here. Therefore, the HCF of 125 and 175 is 25. Step 3. Now carry out successive division for the HCF of the first two numbers and the third number. That is 225 divided by 25. Here, on dividing 225 by 25, we get the last divisor as 25. Hence, HCF of 125, 175 and 225 is 25. Remember, 1. If two numbers do not have any common factor other than 1, then their HCF is 1. 2. The HCF of two numbers of which one is the multiple of the other is the smaller number. Kids, do not get jumbled up while you find the HCF by the continued division method. Have fun!